Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today I'm gonna be playing a Digger deck which recently got popular in like uh, Clash Royale League and uh, yeah I'm gonna be teaching you right now how to play it. My opponent will be playing a uh, like you see uh, the Viking, I mean the Viking. Uh, I've played against John a couple of times and he was playing with Viking Burst Fan, but he was uh, playing a as a first card Ghost and Blitz, so it was already likely that he's gonna be playing Viking Burst Fan. I didn't want to spoil it though, but fortunately for me, uh, John, very cooperative, he showed uh, his uh, deck uh, right away. So I'm gonna play Poison here, I don't think it's the bad move. I'm gonna just uh, counter his Necromancer, counter his Viking, all this good stuff. I'm gonna try to actually get a counter against these twins because it may sometimes be tricky. I don't want to like get a lucky connection of the twins right off the bat, so I'm gonna just uh, do this, do that, and everything will be great. So I'm gonna play Swordsman against this ghost as it approaches my tower. Also to avoid avoid any lineups. If he gets a lineup with piercing archer, I'm gonna just get a gunner, allow some chip. And after that I'm gonna uh, go for an uh, offense. So he actually plays a Viking at the bridge, which I don't think is too bad of a move, but at the same time he kinda screwed himself over already because yeah he kinda has to commit to this Viking and that's usually not a good sign for a Viking player. I'm gonna try to clean everything here. I'm gonna clean this Necromancer, very fortunate for me. And he's gonna actually get some uh, ape chip, which is well normal. I see that I think I'm gonna just go, okay, hey, I was about to say I'm gonna go very aggressive, but he went very aggressive himself, playing twins just at the bridge, with no support, so I'm gonna just, right now, kinda snowball off his play, play some digger with poison, very good play to attack somebody, and it's already getting a lot of damage, it also forces a fifth out, I'm gonna actually get a kill on this fifth, because it's very annoying, I'm gonna get a fun, uh, bomb girl, He's gonna get a uh, Viking against. I'm gonna play Fono Hut because it's like one of the best defensive cards right now in the game. Uh, I'm gonna play Gunner here just to uh, chip away on this uh, Footman. Uh, this Viking is that which is very cool for me to see. I'm gonna play Swordsman here uh, just as I have to kind of cycle something. I'm gonna play Digger in the back. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl usual stuff. I'm gonna actually play poison on, on these support cards because it's gonna be already a very huge value. My bomb girl will get some uh, chips and that's absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna get another phone hat, ag phone hat against this and so far so good. Uh, my defense is absolutely holding here. I'll try to minimize the uh, profits of this necromancer by playing gunner. He's gonna get uh, some poison value, but at the same time it's like not a big of a deal. I'm gonna get a bomb girl at the bridge, I'm gonna play digger in the back. Basically I'm just attacking on all three sides. Uh, left, right and center. Uh, this bomb girl even survives, which is even bigger surprise for me. I'm gonna just play some spells and as you can see, it's a deck which should be scoring very well against Viking Bridge Spawn. Very fortunate game number one, where I knew absolutely what to do at any point of the game, and my opponent just couldn't break through. So, yeah, that's gonna be game. Let's jump to game number two. It looks like we're gonna be having a game number two against John as well, who decided to queue into my matchmaking uh, sec for a second time in this video. I think I've played the Swordsman a bit too low, so I'll have to like correct this mistake by playing Rolling Steel, and even though it still connects, so yeah, a huge mistake by me because I've already taken more damage than I've taken uh, during the entirety of the previous game. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl very aggressively, forcing out the Viking at the bridge from him. Uh, playing it this manner, I'm gonna play Fawn Hut, obviously, force the Ghost in front. Uh, I'm gonna play Rolling Steel to just uh, stop this ghost from chipping on my phone hut. Uh, and right now uh, these uh, stone phones will uh, help out to defend. That was a very well uh, constructed defense and my opponent will play Thief which is cool. Which is cool. I ain't complaining. The swordsman will clean up the Thief and I think, yeah, I'm not gonna be playing uh, a digger because last time I played digger against a viking bridge spam. Uh, I got absolutely butchered afterwards, so I'm gonna just play poison, play it safe, play it slow, and 
yeah that's that's gonna be basically uh, basically i'm gonna play uh, bomb girl he's gonna probably play ghost on this and there we go uh, there's a ghost on bomb girl i'm gonna play actually phone hunt because there's no reason why i shouldn't uh, it's gonna get a very good counter and he, my opponent surely cannot afford uh, um, okay, I, I, I should I should uh, have uh, probably played Rolling Steel uh, way earlier. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get a gunner low. He's gonna be playing Viking, and that's usually the situation where you don't want to be. You kind of want to have a phone hut against the Viking, but to uh, prevent that, I'm gonna play this uh, digger here, uh, so my opponent can like uh, be more cautious about uh, him going aggressive. Uh, he's gonna get some uh, value with a, uh, with a Necromancer, which is definitely not something I want to see, but well, it happens. Uh, these twins, yeah, they won't connect, it was scary for a second, but yeah, I'm gonna play Bomb Girl on defense uh, just to kinda amortize my defense. Uh, I'm gonna play a, a Digger, a Ghost shouldn't be able to turn, I'm gonna play Swordsman here. Uh, just to deal with the ghost, uh, I think. Okay, I think this rolling still won't kill the feet, but uh, uh, but it's a good play anyway. I'm gonna play uh, a bomb girl to on the other side once again. He's gonna be playing Viking on the opposite side, which is like actually a very high tier move because uh, he kind of forces me to de uh, defend on different sides of the board. I'm gonna right now get my uh, digger here. And he gets a very good twins, which is absolutely scary. I'm gonna get a rolling steel, and actually he ignores the he ignores the swordsman and falls on the opposite side. That was very lucky when I didn't even see them just going ham on the tower. I presume swordsman was tanking for the phones, and that wasn't enough for him. So he absolutely went all in. Was uh, hoping for some luck. There was no luck. And we're gonna take the game number two. Actually, I'm gonna wait just a bit in matchmaking so that I'm not gonna face John again. And then we're gonna jump to the game number three. And as a game number three of today's video, we're gonna be facing Rezer with 706 medals, who is gonna play actually general first place. So I expect some good uh, gameplay in here. He's gonna play a general, obviously, and I kind of have to hold it. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be screwed. He's playing a explorer, which is very controversial way to play. This poison will absolutely slow everything down, and uh, with this slowdown of the poison, my gunner and digger will be uh, enough to clean the general. Uh, this can will should not be able to uh, cross uh, for free. There we go. I actually missed the ice tiny, but it's not the biggest deal of the world. All in all, I think it's a good start for us. I'm gonna play Bomber at the bridge just to tease him and for some response. There are the devils. I think I'm gonna be playing just a swordsman. There's no reason to play anything heavier. And after that, I'm gonna think uh, play digger because uh, I'm gonna get a poison. Uh, very quickly in my hand. I'm gonna actually get a helicopter and explore and everything in this poison range, but the helicopter doesn't turn into my digger, so it's not gonna get as much value. Actually, I, these two hits hurt, and I could have blocked them, but I'm kinda scared of what does he have to support his general, general because uh, he has a 700 mel, so he probably knows what he's doing, and since he knows what he's doing, uh, he may be like just holding back in the uh, single mana and basically uh, uh, giving us the uh, feeling of uh, safety like uh, that there's nothing to be worried about just normal general player and then he pulls off like uh, the most crazy uh, counter in a, a human history and I'm gonna absolutely get butchered so I kinda uh, am willing to play it a bit carefully I took one hit from the general because like I've said I'm kinda careful and I'm uh, not willing to like make any over commitments. I'm getting a lot of damage with this bigger though. I'm gonna play actually Ephons because as I've seen, he doesn't have like a brilliant response against it. He has to play Piercing Archer, which is definitely not the go-to response against that. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel and yeah, that was that was too late. That's a mistake on my part, and I'm gonna actually pay for that very hefty. 
<laughs> he he has lightning. There we go. So here was his like clutch card, which I was waiting for. I'm gonna play a bigger end. I'm gonna follow it up with poison, catching both of the I mean three of the devils, which is absolutely astounding. I'm gonna clean up this cannon and I'm gonna instantly get a, a bomb girl just to get this tower down. And I think that's GG's because he cannot break through. So the 700 player has been defeated. Like. Not the highest amount of medals that you can see, but like it's usually the sign that uh, a player is kind of good, but uh, uh, is just playing a game from uh, for a very short period of time, and his elo is yet to be like balanced. So uh, GG is well played, and I'm gonna see you guys in the game number four of today's video. And the next game will be against Fishfield, like a zero medal player who plays bomb skeleton at the bridge, like an absolute maniac. And that's why I'm gonna have uh, to kind of clutch this defense because my opponent definitely isn't playing like a conventional boom arena. I'm gonna even be forced to play digger uh, on defense. But all in all, I think I took a brilliant trade, even if he didn't play the can, but now he plays a can. I think like uh, there's absolutely no way uh, he has any uh, positional advantage. He actually plays a normal phone cake. I usually. Uh, okay, yeah, lucky, 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 yeah, yeah, go with this BM. Either way, I uh, probably think I should be like paying more attention into where these uh, kegs are going because uh, uh, I usually just use Fire Tiny to counter the uh, phone keg and probably that's why I'm kind of lucky in that department. Sometimes I just think that uh, someone's playing a Juke Barrel, I mean Juke Keg, and uh, they're not. So, I just gotta be more careful next time, I'm gonna play falls here, because I frankly don't have a better response to a uh, phone cack. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna just let this archer go, because I have no better response. Uh, he's gonna play Ken, which was absolutely a waste of mana, because his weak side tower is on the left, so he didn't have to like really defend that. Uh, splitting damage against a cycle deck is actually kind of fine. He's gonna try to get a prediction against me, which was cute attempt, but it's not gonna work out because I'm already uh, at the ready with an alternative response. He's gonna get a very value skeleton heart, which uh, kinda also pushed my swordsman out of the range of the uh, tower, which is. Well. You don't see it every day, so uh, I'm gonna just commit it uh, like that. Uh, I'm gonna play Gunner here. And unfortunately, Gunner gets the worst RNG possible, just targeting, targeting uh, all the phones that were just chipped uh, uh, by the uh, tower uh, beforehand. So, like, I just got the maximum damage with this setup. He's gonna go in right now with his uh, troops. I'm gonna right now counter attack since he wasted his bullets. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go uh, in with, for a poison. Because, uh, yeah, I want my digger to stay alive and deal as much damage uh, during his lifetime as it's physically possible. Also, this bomb girl is absolute beast, cleaning the way for everything in uh, every way. He's gonna block the bridge for the digger, which is uh, kind of a smart play. I'm gonna play Falls here, because honestly, why not? Uh, I'm gonna play another bomb girl, and right now, he... <laughs> Bomber is kind of a cute card because it kind of disallows your opponent from gaining a uh, bridge control like ever. I'm gonna get a deal with poison, which is absolutely a fabulous choice. I'm gonna get a bomb girl, which should target the tower, and that's gonna be GG's. Very cool to see. It was a bit of bit shaky uh, for my liking. I usually win this like while taking zero damage, but yeah. Uh, he wasn't playing like plain uh, default deck, which I was expecting. He threw some changes. Uh, I shouldn't even be even commentating on this because it wasn't a bit difficult matchup. Let's jump to the game number five. And the last opponent of today's video will be Chino. Uh, Chino. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Maybe there are like different uh, ways to pronounce it. Either way, he has zero medals and is gonna be starting with a bone blasters, which is. Fair enough, good start so far, uh, he's gonna be playing a, a digger uh, on the side of my tower, which was very good predict. 
uh, by me with funds. I'm gonna get a, a bomb girl going. Uh, I don't think. Okay, he's gonna play a cyclone, and yet he's not gonna be able to like stop the bomb girl from the additional damage. He's gonna be playing a bone blasters right now, which I don't think is a best way to capitalize on the situation. But he was probably kind of feeling the momentum. I cannot really blame him. I'm gonna just play. Digger and Fonts, and these Fonts should be connecting all on the tower, which is absolutely best case scenario for me. Also, he's playing the Cyclone, so I presume my friend Chino, I'm gonna be calling him like this, uh, is gonna be playing Remy Ellie deck, which is like the Digger, Piercing Archer, uh, Cyclone, th this, this good stuff or bad stuff, uh, depending on whether you w like playing against this deck or not. I'm gonna play a Swordsman because why not? Protecting the bomb girl, he's gonna actually get a um, bomb tower. I don't think it reaches, but uh, if it does, okay, it doesn't reach, which is very good because uh, this person archer is not getting my bomb girl anytime soon. I'm gonna play gunner in the back actually because there's uh, nothing in the position I have to react to. I'm gonna play gunner in the back as well, and right now I think, okay, he actually play a digger uh, at the bridge, which is bizarre move. But I don't blame him, he probably wanted to play uh, with me some mind games, which definitely didn't work out. He, he can play Digger uh, directly on my tower and he definitely knows that because it was his uh, one of the first plays in this game. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl at the bridge uh, just to get some damage. I he definitely has mana to respond, so my only conclusion is that my friend Chino has given up and the the game should be brought back home because uh, that's what we do on this channel. We queue into the matchmaking, we win, and in the meantime, I kind of explain to you how different decks uh, work, uh, what are the best plays in the position, what are my thoughts on the position, and uh, sometimes I bring some uh, interesting facts about the matchup. So, yeah, that's why you watch me, and uh, that's gonna be end of, our, end of the video. Like, uh, thank you for staying till the end. If you scrolled here well, can't prevent you from doing bad, but yeah, thank you for watching uh, if you actually watch it uh, fair and square, and uh, if you enjoy my content, I uh, recommend you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you aren't already, I post Boom Arena content on a daily basis, and I've covered the benefits like uh, 30 seconds ago, so you might just rewind, and uh, you might uh, get just a full list. And yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode on Boom Arena.